really appreciate it. Uh, if you've never been here before, a special welcome to you in the lobby. There's a little bar with some beer and wine and very uh, nutritious snacks like tater chips and Snickers bars and things like that. And we encourage you to imbibe as heavily as you possibly can. Uber and Lyft will pick you up right at our front door. You can leave your car right where it is in undeniably beautiful downtown Duluth for as long as you want to leave it. And it'll be safe and sound because that's the kind of little town we have here. Also, this is a very appropriate time for me to say hello to you folks watching the live stream at EOP Live on YouTube. And we are appreciating you being here. You'll notice at the top of your chat box, there's a blue bar. Whoops, my hand's bleeding. Sorry about that. I whacked it today. Uh, there's a little blue bar, and it says tips. And we'll be appreciating you in advance for your generosity that I know you're going to show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Send a smoke signal to your neighbors or your friends or, hell, even your enemies. We don't care. But tell somebody to tune in. That would be a wonderful thing because we have a plethora of wonderfully crafted songs that we're going to throw at y'all this evening. And I'm telling you what, they are good. And you're going to be able to sing along with some of them, and some of them you ain't ever heard before, but you're going to say, by God, that was a good song. Because there ain't somebody that on this stage, there ain't nobody on this stage that can't craft a song. I'm telling you right now. And you're going to be tickle pink to be here. Normally, I would remind you at this point to go to the lobby at some point and check out the merchandise, but... None of these poor sap suckers brought any merchandise. So, <laughs> so I tell you what you can do. You can just spend more at the bar. That's a great idea. I think that's an appropriate spendage of your funds this evening. So, but thank you so much for coming. We really do appreciate it. There are, uh, there will be a little break between Chris and uh, yesterday's wine, but not a real big one. But we'll open up those downstairs bathrooms during the break, so you don't have to all wait on those two potties that or bear, there by the, uh, by the bar. But if you want to, y'all can all just go in together into one of those. We don't care. It's just, it's just that there's one toilet per room. So, and you queue up in front of the bar and wait your turn or just all go in together. It'll be all right. We ain't going to hold no judgment here about anybody and what they do. Thank you so much. I love Levi Lowry and I love Wyatt Durrett. And, and, and them boys, tell you what, they are just, they have done well over these years for what they do. Uh, and it has been, there's no vest that has any buttons on it that I've owned these days because I've popped them all off because I'm so proud of folks like them. I really am. And uh, a bunch of years ago, I met Chris and he reminded me, he came down, who was it with? Daphne Willis. Daphne Willis, fine songwriter. And he came and played with her and he was remarking how different, undeniably beautiful downtown Duluth looks these days. And yes, it does. There was a, when we opened here and started doing our thing, we had pure taqueria and a really bad pizza joint across the street. And uh, when I would leave after the shows, the tumbleweeds would hit me in the ass on the way out. They was, it was just dead. It was just nobody here. So, but thank you all for coming. You're our heroes. And I want you to sound like you're about a million people and give Mr. Chris a nice welcome to the Red Clay Music Foundry. <laughs> It's uh, an honor to play here. Thanks, everybody. I'm a big fan of Eddie. He's, I've been seeing uh, music in his club since I was a very young man. I was just telling him last time I was here, I, I don't think I could really like afford the guacamole upcharge. It was a really, we were touring in a Honda Element. No, it, it, whatever the cube looking thing is. And you could take all the seats out and just hose out all the M&Ms and pretzel crumbs and stuff. So it was like, Four people in one of those cars with our suitcases and a dog and a drum kit and guitars. I don't know how we did it, so. Duluth is looking beautiful these days also. I, I didn't even recognize it. When we came here, I swear there was a tumbleweed blowing down the street last time, and it's just like all of Atlanta, just beautiful. Anyway, good to be here. Wyatt asked me to play bass. I said, if I'm driving all the way down to Atlanta traffic, I gotta play a few songs, so. Hope you like them. This is called Tomorrow's Song. Here we go. Time is 
is like a melody that's woven into everything. Words in every page you read, just searching for your songs to sing. When the darkness comes to find. Sings in the sun. This love is really all we are, just colors fading into one. When that darkness comes to find. Stop drinking brown liquor on stage, and I'm still trying to get used to this. I, uh, I heard a video of me singing in like the key of demolished or something. I don't know what it was. In the Bahamas, you know, all my friends were I was like, nah, you sounded great. You were in your head, but they were just like, nah, he actually did kind of sound like shit. Uh, this is a song that was on Lee Bryce's last record. It's called Best Part of Me. Well, there's plenty about me that I don't like. Most mistakes I make, I make them twice. Sometimes I don't live by the words I say And I just can't stay out of my own way My good intentions overflow From way deep down inside my bones And though my head's been known to give me hell this heart of mine's just something else But the best part of me Part of me is you Is you The best part of me Part of me is you yeah. Southern Jim. 
We're doing all right. The whiskey's good for like the first two or three songs, but then I usually find my girlfriend in the crowd and she's kind of. <laughs> well, I guess I did do something productive in the Bahamas one time. Besides, go out in these people's boat, have a great time. Shout out to the Ackermans. I, I, I wrote a song with Wyatt and our uh, good buddy Django Walker. He's Jerry Jeff's, the late Jerry Jeff's son. He's a brilliant dude. And all we do down there is drink beer and hang out on boats, but we actually sat down and wrote a song one night. It's called House of Cards. Here we go. Cause it's painted 
it on me like a clown And if she came breezing in You'd figure it out I'm just a house of cards About to fall down Don't be fooled by a smile that you see Cause it's painted on me like a clown And if she came breezing in You'd figure it out I'm just a house of cards About to fall down Fall down, fall down I'm just a house of cards About to fall down I'm just a house of cards about to fall So thank you so much. Shalom on the sound. Give us some love. We'll be back with yesterday's wine in a few minutes. Thanks again.
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, look who's up on the stage right now. It's yesterday's wine. Hey, hey. Thank y'all for coming. Lost in the bar, swimming in the mind. Making up a new definition of sinning. Got a little too good, that's some really bad living. I was wondering why. Pushed it to the limit. Any way you spin it. There's whiskey in the well, and I probably jump in it. This is a beautiful thing. When you come out, and then on the other side. Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel watching, must have been an angel. What happened, Levi? Caught in a daze, chasing medication. It's tricky enough when you're smoking and a drinking. Tricky when your mind's on a different station all the time. I used to call it a fate, but it ain't throwing down. I never had a doubt, I never make it out. I'm lucky to be alive. Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so Seeing that my heart could never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel We're never on falling, 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 falling I fall hard But something keeps me from falling, 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 falling must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free, seeing that my soul would never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel watching, must have been an angel, must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark. Bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so. Seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel. Watching, must have been an angel. Seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel. Maybe I should stop and thank the Lord for sending me an angel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How we doing? Appreciate y'all coming. So thank y'all. We are yesterday's wine. I read this on a napkin one day. Uh, it said, it's, it said um, put your hand on your chest and you feel that it's called purpose. And uh, it stuck with me for a while, and um, I was going through some shit, and um, got through it, and remember that quote, and wrote this song. Sun is rising on a nearly street. There's an angel lying next to me. In a perfect world, in a perfect life, a perfect me, perfect life. And when I wrote it down, it looked so good. But my pen didn't have the ink it should. So I'm standing up and I'm turning that page. It's 
So I closed my eyes and I put my hand upon my beating chest and I wish I'm still songs for about 15, 20 years, and um, a lot of songs don't see the light of day. And um, so that's why we did this. That's why we started what we were doing. We just wanted people to hear what we had to say. Um, and so we actually, you know, we've had the blessing of writing songs for other folks and other artists that, um, you know, let us do this for a living at the end of the day. And, uh, and we're very grateful for it. Um, this is one of those songs I wrote it with uh, uh, Zach, Zach Brown and uh, Coy Balls, and it was uh, it was a song. It was the happiest breakup song I've ever written in my life. Um, a beach song, but um, yeah, we got together. I was a jerk. She left, and uh, I needed some blue water to heal me, and this is what came out.
So first of all, how about Chris Galbuta? He's a son of a bitch. Yeah, it's fun getting blown off the stage. Right? He's one of my favorite people and one of my favorite singers, songwriters. He can pretty much do anything he wants as far as music goes and uh, pretty much does whatever he wants as far Maybe as... Maybe not fitness models, but... <laughs> I said musically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nah, he's one of my really one of my best friends and uh, one yeah. of my favorite people and one of my favorite musicians and songwriters. He also produced um, Seven Oceans and Must Have Been an Angel on our on our EP. And uh, this was the first song we ever wrote together. Actually, he, he wrote "Song in a Car" with he and I and Tyler Reed wrote this song. Um, this song is about you know when you uh, there's something about a song in a car. You know, we've all been there at a red light and somebody catches you singing at the top of your lungs or, you know, there's something about, there's something about it, like the solitude of it. When you're alone, like you let yourself go, whether it be uh, in a happy way or a sad way. Um, so that's kind of what, what it's about. Suddenly some guy singing my whole life in a song Had to catch my breath because every word he said Took the lows and the highs and the don't know why's And it all made sense This old world will get you every time Where the reason don't match your rhyme You go crazy just trying to find a little peace of mind you can hide in the smoky bar Lay your eyes on a thousand stars Catch a plane, get away with the waves and the palm trees oh. But sometimes it just takes the right song in the car Sometimes it just takes a right 
song in the car. Nothing more, nothing less. Take a ride up by yourself. Turn it up, play it loud. Take it in and let it out. Got it right, y'all. Cause this old world will get you every time Where the reason don't mess around I go crazy just trying to find a little peace of mind You can hide in a smoky bar Lay your eyes on a thousand stars Catch a plane, get away with the waves and the palm trees. Huh? Sometimes it just takes a right song. Actually, uh, this next song I wrote with Buddha as well, and Tyler Reeve as well. I think it's the second song we ever wrote. It, it was the second one. Yeah, we're batting a thousand, man. Uh, this one's just about, uh, you know, we're all chasing happy in whatever version we find it. And uh, a lot of times you're looking down the road instead of the left and right. And, uh, you know, the little things are the happiness sometimes, and that's what this one's about. Coffee on a cool man morning. Kiss on your cheek from that girl without wanting. That's love that she gives. That's what happiness is. It's a smile from a stranger. You pass on the street. You pass along to the next one you meet. It's that feeling you get. That's what happiness is. You know it, these kinds of moments are gone in blink of an eye. Keep your heart open, never stop hoping, catch them as they're passing by. That's a laugh. Bar that's just playing for beers Singing that song you ain't heard in ten years When that melody is That's what happiness is It's a slow, easy Sunday With hummingbirds humming Warm summer breeze And some six drinks strumming A little smoke on my lips That's what happiness is Before you know it, these kinds of moments are gone in the blink of an eye. So keep your heart open, never stop hoping, catch them as they're passing by. That's a life we'll leave. That's what happiness is. Make us happy. Just you. 
I pray I'll catch a glimpse of what happiness is. Of what happiness is. Thank you. This is a song we just uh, released, the first one, I guess, off our next EP. Um, it's been out for a minute. Uh, I, when my mom passed, I asked for two things, the uh, grandfather clock in the living room and the rocking chair in the kitchen. And um, I kind of put it in my garage and forgot about it. You know, time was, you know, life, life happened and uh, forgot what I wanted to refurbish it and do certain things to it. And, um, during COVID, you know, we all got a chance to slow down and uh, went down the garage and I sat down in it one day and just the way it felt, the way it smelled, everything, you know, it just kind of brought back everything. Um, and I kind of lost my shit a little bit and then uh, went upstairs and uh, called my favorite poet. And uh, we wrote it about 45 minutes or something like that, but um, it's called Rocket Chair.
Miss the hell out of that woman. I actually got to, uh, we had the opportunity to write this song with, um, it was on one of the songwriters in Paradise events. I think, were you in, was it Cabo? Cabo. Yes. And we got a call from Christian Bush. And he, um, thanks. And, <laughs> and he, <laughs> he asked what we were doing. And uh, as I recall, it was, we weren't doing anything. So. <laughs> He asked if we wanted to come over and write, and he's, you know, he's Christian Bush, so we said, yeah. And we go over to, to his room, and he pulls out this poem that I think he said was like 15, 20 years old, something like that. And he always wanted to, sir, this story gets better. <laughs> Who's done with you? We'll wait, we'll wait till he comes back. No, I'm, sorry. I'm not really going to wait. Um, so he pulls out the poem, and we, I mean, it's got the workings of a great song. And we write it with him, and we were aiming for his band, Dark Water, um, which is incredible. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Yeah, they're great, man. And we finished the song, and he loved it, and he was like, you know, pretty sure it was going to make the record. And Wyatt calls him up the next day after, like, you know, listening back to the work tape. And he was like, you know, he called me. He was like, I think, I, I think we should cut that song instead of Dark Water. And so we called up Christian, we're like, hey man, really enjoyed writing with you, but we're taking that song <laughs> and making it a Yesterday's Wine tune. And he, Christian would give you his last song. He doesn't, he just, he loves people. He'd give you the shirt off his back. So he said, okay, but in the end, we ended up paying him to produce it. So I guess he won. <laughs> and, uh, it's a cool song. It was Christian's idea and we just were happy to be along for the ride. And I, I feel like it fits our dynamic very well. And, it's um It's called Mama Tried, so <laughs>
How we doing? Yeah. Having fun? Having fun? This is a song I wrote uh, with my buddy Luke Combs. Um, yeah, it was. Um, it, it did well. Um, and it was the title I had. It's crazy. Like when you're writing songs, you bounce ideas off everybody you write with. You know, you're writing all the time with, with different people. And, you bounce ideas off, and sometimes they land, sometimes they don't. And uh, this one I probably bounced off 15 different writing sessions, and it never landed. Luckily, because it landed where it needed to, I guess. Um, and only had two words. It was beautiful, crazy. Um, and I knew what I wanted to be about, you know, just about when you really fall in love with somebody, you fall in love with everything. They're bullshit, too, you know. It becomes endearing. And uh, luckily, he was falling in love at the time and got the point. And uh, yeah, beautiful, crazy. CMA song of the year. Day starts with coffee, ends with wine. Takes forever getting ready, but she's never on time for anything ever. Then she gets there, come get me. Kinda scares me the way that she drives me wild. She drives me wild. Beautiful, crazy. Unusual how I was such a fool 
Man, I'm such a fool. Damn Larry.
up here. I think he's doing a damn good job. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll, we'll give the guys a break for a second because Chris is leaving no, anyway. No, 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 no. I just, uh, Sir, actually, that's not, that's not, the break is not for you. It's, no. it's stop. for them. Just stop. It's like chaos in here. What is going on? All right. Start playing bluegrass and the people start going crazy up in here. So this was a song that uh, CVB cut and they cut it in a very fast bluegrass way. It was freaking awesome because it showed off how talented all those guys are as musicians. And, uh, but when Levi and I wrote it, we kind of wrote it like this. It was a slower tempo and uh, kind of felt like the words got lost in some way with it moving that fast. And we're gonna release our own version of it. It's called The Wind.
Just close your eyes, baby. Take a breath. Say my name and I'll be there. My love will find you anywhere. Anywhere, my love will find you anywhere. Anywhere, my love will find you anywhere. Anywhere, my love. Thank you. Thank you. short break um, it just seems like people need to get up so <laughs> <laughs> we're just paying attention grandpa got his teeth knocked out in 1952 by a foul ball Joe DiMaggio hit the count was 0-2 I'll never forget the sound he made when the ball hit him in the lips. He tried to cuss, he tried to scream, but all he could say was this.
I woke up in a cold sweat from a dream at 3 a.m. I was drifting on the sea of shadow, and the rain was whipping in the wind. I saw a man dressed all in black reach out. And he charted us a course out into the spirit realm. Well, I can taste the salt. Feel the blisters on my hands As I'm pulling at the oars Rowing on to glory land And sitting in the stern Singing hymns and talking trash Is my broken guardian angel The ghost of Johnny Cash Johnny's quoting from the Bible while I'm trying to steer this leaky craft. And his familiar voice reminds me I'm a man who's cut in half. His tarnished halo slips and shines as the raging billows crash. And I'm riding out the deluge with the ghost. Johnny Cash. Now some sinners need their saints to be survivors of the fall. Cause when you're down here on your knees, most angels look too tall. So I'll just live this life out, dust to dust and ash to ash. My guy from the other side, the ghost of Johnny Cash.
you got to stand for something. Because when you're gone, you're gone. And the devil lost a lot of souls when Johnny put that black suit on. He's still flipping off the Pharisees and laughing at old scratch while he haunts the halls of heaven. If I ever cross your mind, it 
was a pleasure of my life And I cherished every time Cause my whole world It begins and ends with you On that highway to the right Oh, to the right Oh, to the right Oh, to How we doing? Got a couple more left in you? I think we do too. So this is a new song. Uh, I wrote it with this guy over here, Buddha. Um, it's one of my favorite songs I've written in a really long time. Been trying to convince him about that for a while, but I think it'll find a home one day. It's a really good song. So. I like it a lot, I'm serious. I like it too, just no, when nobody cuts it for a long time, you start to wonder if it's not any good, you know? 
Well, it is. Well, that really has nothing to do with a good song. No, there's no trucks in it. No. There's no Daisy Dukes. Somebody cutting it does not decide if it's a good song or not. I promise you that. That's true. <laughs> Ever. I guess that's why How Peter, many songs have you heard in Nashville that are amazing songs that never get cut or heard? That's, yeah. That has nothing to do with it. But you can come here and hear a lot of them. <laughs> sure. So make sure you're supporting Eddie. Yes. And the Red Clay Shalom. He's been a champion of our artists and songwriters for a very long yes. time. Yes, yeah, good, very good man. Up for it.
Sounds like Florida Georgia Line. Uh, Only traded my whole my old wife for you. Don't get started. Yeah, he's already started rewriting it. Traded my old wife for you. I know it was a joke. It's funny. Nobody come up and slap me because I made a joke. Yeah. Keep my lyrics out your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's the first time I haven't fallen asleep at the Oscars in about 20 years. <laughs> that deserves an award just for the performance at the Oscars. Best performance at the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> male on male performance. There. Well, that sounded bad. Sesame Streetish, and so the first lyric he was like, <laughs> it should be something like this, like a sunny days won't always come your way. You got try to stay out of the shadow. But life sure is a beautiful ride, and you're gonna hit a couple bumps. Shine, baby. Shine, baby. Shine, baby. 
Friday and Levi Lowry doing their thing. (laughs) 
So this is the first song he and I ever wrote together about 15 years ago or so. I was a uh, I was seeing a girl in um, just geography, timing, all the things, you know, they get in the way sometimes. And uh, didn't mean we didn't care about each other, just couldn't find the right way to end up together, I guess is the best way to say it. But um, I was out in Green Bay, Wisconsin, the band was playing um, inside and uh, it started snowing and uh, so we were supposed to go to Kansas City, was that where she lived, and um, for a radio show before we went on to like Chicago or something like that. And it was snowing, so we had to cancel the radio show, and I had to call her and tell her that, and she was not very happy with me at all. And uh, so I walked on the bus and wrote down this chorus and sang it to anybody who would listen for about six weeks. And uh, luckily, this dude did. And uh, he was the perfect man to do so on this song. Um, so yeah, it's funny where they come from. My favorite part about the story is that she's mad at you because of what you did with the weather. <laughs> you should have been more considerate. <laughs> right? It's like those gate agents at well, the airport. It just gets to a point where they blame it all on you, right? Yeah, for sure. Change. You got 
got a tipsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving Born We got one more for you. I want to say thank you again to Eddie and Shalom and Red Clay and all of you for listening so intently. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Again, Chris Galbuta, Lawrence Demenz, Scotty Fryer, Levi Lowry, I'm Wyatt Durrett. Thank you guys again so much. This song is about the things you do for the ones you love. Thank you so much. 
much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.
this town To get back to Miss Fan You know she's the only one Who sent me here Yesterday's wine, thank you guys so much.